Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? I have doubts, but we do have a record of an Adam Jones at the orphanage, same time as Finn. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently. You need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not going to believe this. He actually went for it. Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Flissy. Don't call me that. Um, I'm going to head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. Okay, okay, okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh, God. Please, help me. Please. What's happening? Oh, 
Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Uh... You know, I think I'll take a pass. We'll, uh, we'll let you know if anything comes up. Fair enough. Have a good one. Huh. A rat trap. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, local undertaker, drunk, no apparent connection to Las Palmas Orphanage. After the murder, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the first responding officer was killed. Second target, Frederick LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas, drug charges, assaults, but no convictions. Trapper left his body in a pitch black room and filled the light fixture with C4. First responding officer flipped the switch and sayonara. Third target, Father Rominski. The trapper had sewn explosives inside his body wired to blow if he moved a muscle. Left him sitting in a prayer position and he was forced to confess his sins, namely the abuse he and his cronies conducted at the orphanage. The first responder was, huh, it was Sergeant Teller. A theory. While the first target had no apparent connection to Las Palmas, all the responding officers were from the third precinct, including Detective Marnie. Were the initial victims just a smokescreen and the real targets the third precinct police? Why would he target them? Contacts. Who would you like to call? Becky Marnie. Calling Becky Marnie. Hi, Detective Marnie. This is Felicity Graves. Hi. Hi, I'm so sorry for calling so late, but I've just been going over the case files and... Do you mind if I run a theory by you? Sure, hit me. Well, I noticed that all of the first responders were from the third precinct, including yourself. And do you think it's possible that the real targets in each of the Trapper killings were actually the first responding officers? I suppose it's possible. You don't sound too sure. Well, what do you want me to say? We were all dirty? I'm not accusing you. I'm just, well, if you could tell me anything else that might help. There's nothing to tell. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Have a good night, Miss Graves. Another note, Trapper was Detective Calvary's case, yet Marnie arrested Finn. Something about the tension today between Calvary and Marnie feels like it runs deeper than they were letting on. Something seems fishy. Anything? <sighs> Nothing useful. Becky, I tried to call you last night. Yeah? You didn't answer. I didn't feel like talking. Where were you? I was home. Alone? Yeah, so? I just, you know how this looks, right? What are you saying? Everybody knows how you two felt about each other, Becky. <sighs> Jesus, Carl. Just be careful, Becky, please. Whatever you're thinking, stop. I'm trying to help you. Yes, yes, I hated Calvary. I hated Calvary, but not like this. Becky. This, this is insane. This just makes things a million times worse. And you're not helping.
Okay. Okay, guys, can you settle down? Listen up. We lost a brother today. Another one won't be returning to duty. It could have been a lot worse. I know this is a dark day for all of us. Calvary was... Uh, he was a tough son of a bitch. Nobody thought he'd go out this way. But I'm gonna need you all to keep your nose to the grindstone until we crack this case. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? Call girl? Her APB's out in the street walker and uh, our potential suspect, Adam Jones. Any developments should be the first to know. Right now, we're saying Calvary was taken off the payroll by a copycat killer. Maybe someone taking their cues from Finn and the clink. Due to her close proximity to the case, we're being aided by Prosecutor Felicity Graves in this investigation. There's another thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, uh, come on. You believe this? Hey, listen, I get it. But we think this could be a valuable lead and we're gonna follow it through. Anyone got a problem with that, come see me personally. Detective Marnie, I want you to go over Calvary's old case files, see if anything tracks with the previous trapper hits. Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay, people. Let the flies start buzzing. We got a job to do. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks. No matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. Do we have a problem? What? The fuck were you going on about this morning at the crime scene? Becky. Do you honestly think that I have something to do with this? Not now, okay? You're my partner. We gotta be honest with each other. Look. Everyone knows about what was going on between you and Calvary. You've got motive, so I'm just doing my job. I thought that you would at least be on my side. It's not about sides. It's better that it's me asking questions, okay? Some of these guys... Yeah, right. I know how it looks. If Calvary had proven I lost evidence, I'd be screwed. So yeah, motive. It's too bad no one ever filed a complaint on him. And you know, this wasn't the first time he was with a hooker. He was a grade A creep, but they're still gonna ask questions. And the more distance you have, the better. Why'd you think Sarge put you on file work? I thought you were my partner. I'm just making sure we got our story straight. So, you don't believe me? Of course I believe you. Doesn't really sound like it. Hey, that's not fair. We have to trust each other. Yeah, we do.